Good evening, Kingdom Saints viewers, Sub subscribers. Let's have a scripture reading, shall we? Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel, an end. The end is coming upon the four corners of the land. Now is the time come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. God is talking to the Israelites here because they was living in disobedience and not following the word of God not following the commandments, worshiping idols, just all in all sin across the whole land of Israel. And God is telling them, oh, the day is coming. The end is coming to all the four corners of the land. That means the whole Israel, all of it, because they were so disobedient for 400 years. And he says, And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. He's, he's saying to them, he's not going to spare them. His eye sees everything. He sees everything that they're doing. And their abominations are right there in front of them because, in front of them because they're the ones who are living in sin and worshiping these false idols and sinning every, each and every day, disregarding the Lord. He says, Thus saith the Lord God, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. And the end is come. The end is come. It watch it for thee. Behold, it is come. He's saying here that they are headed into the darkness. It's going to be the end of them. They're going to be thrown into the abyss. The end is coming for them. It's like um, the beginning of the story, and they reach the end of the story. And in the middle of the story, they just totally disobeyed God throughout the whole story, trying to do things their way, but they won't. They don't want to do it your way. So their end is come because we serve a righteous God, a God of righteousness, and he will not tolerate evil. He will not tolerate evil and disobedience. So he's telling them, the end is come. Behold, evil is come. And who's the evil? The evil is all the sins, all the wickedness that they do. Contributed by Satan. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. They will not be able to enjoy what God has given them. The day of trouble is near. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. You reap what you sow, you follow evil, you will beget evil, and you will have darkness. But when you follow the light, you will have the light of Jesus. 
and you will be saved. You will be saved. Behold the day. Behold it is come. The morning is gone. For it. The rod had blossomed and pride had budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor any, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for that is upon all the multitude thereof. He's saying all the normal activities, all the evil that they do day to day, the buyers, the sellers, all these things shall come to pass. And behold, the evil will befall upon them. The evil will befall, will fall upon them. This is an example of God's wrath upon the Israelites who disobeyed him for 400 years and they just still, still didn't listen. They have hardened hearts. But God said, I will take your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh so that you can fully understand me and you will come to know that my word is the only word and I am the only God, amen, and that I have all the power and authority, but they still didn't listen. They still didn't listen, and you know what, peoples? That's what's happening to this world right now in this world. People are not listening. They turned their back to God. They turned their back to God, and the same shall fall upon us if we do not listen and obey the voice of the Lord. God said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, is at hand. Amen. And Jesus is the light, the guiding light. He's guiding us to him. He's the only light. He's the only truth. And he is the only way. There is no back door. You have to come to Jesus to know God the Father. God said, those that know it, my son, shall have everlasting life. But those that know it not, my son, are already condemned, already condemned, dead men walking, dead men walking, you're a dead men walking if you don't know Jesus and if you don't have a relationship with Jesus. So come to Jesus today, today could be your day of salvation, today could be the day that you no longer live and walk in darkness. Today could be the day that Jesus gives you your sight and you're no longer naked. When I say Jesus gives you your sight, you won't be blind anymore. You'll be able to see the light and live in the light. And when I say you won't be naked anymore, you will have the armor of God because without the armor of God, you are naked. You have nothing, and you are nothing. Jesus said, without me, we are nothing. Amen. So, I'm hoping that this message reaches out to somebody who doesn't know Jesus and wants to learn more about Jesus. So then, peoples, if this message helped you, and if you want to learn more, leave a comment below, and I'll do this once a week. You can even pick out the scripture that you want, and we can talk about it. I'll break it down. I'll dissect the scripture. 
I'll dissect it and break down the atoms and the nucleus of it so that it can be spiritual nutrition for you. Am I right about it? Love you.